Hi, for this recording, I am going to show you how to construct a Cayley table for the group G multiplication modulo 30, where G is a set consists of number 1, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and 29, and the binary operation is multiplication modulo 30. Now to do this, let's recall what does this mean by multiplication modulo 30. Suppose I have a 19 times 17 modulo 30. Now this is actually the remainder of 19 times 17 when you divide by 30. So if you want to find out what is 19 times 17, you'll find that 19 times 17 in this case is equal to 3 to 3. We know that this is equal to 30 times 10 plus 23 and the remainder is 23. So this is equal to 23 modulo 30. Having known this, now we're going to fill up the table, Kelly table now, which is also the multiplication table. So the Kelly table, I write down the element of G 1, 7, 11, 13, 17, 19, 23, and 29 on one row and a column. So I can multiply them. Now one first row is very easy and first column where it just repeat the border so 1 7 11 13 because 1 times 17 is still 17 1 times 19 is still 19 so this is easy to repeat similarly 7 times 1 is 7 11 times 1 is 11 13 times 1 is 13 you just repeat the border again for a small number we know how to multiply them for example 7 times 7 is 49 modular the D is 19. Now, 7 times 11 is 77. And what is 77 after divided by 30? You should get 17. Right? And 7 times 13 is 91. After divided by 30, remainder is 1. 7 times 17. Let's try to figure out what is 7 times 17 and divide by 30. What is the remainder? I'm going to do it this way now. 7 times 17 by 30. I find that the 17 times 7 is actually 3 times 30 plus 29. Remainder is 29. So I know that this number is 29 now. 7 times 19. Right, divide by 30 is so is actually remainder is actually 13 so i know that this is actually 13 now now 7 times 23 all right divide by 30 and i'll get this number 161 over 30 divided by 30 when you find the remainder you get 11 so i know that this is 11 and last number is divided by 30 and find out the remainder is 23. 11, 11 times 7 is same as 7 times 11, which is 17. 13 times 7, 7 is the same as 7 times 13 is 1. And then 17 times 7 is the same as 7 times 17 is 29. And 19 times 7 is the same as 7 times 19 is 13. 23 times 7 is the same as 7 times 23 is 11. And 29 times 7 is the same as 7 times 29 is 23. So I have we finished the second row and second column. So now I'm going to move on to the third row. Now I need to find out where is 11 times 11. And then, then divide by 30. And find out where is 4 times 30 plus one so one is remainder remainder now eleven times eleven is, is one then now eleven times thirteen eleven times thirteen so it's equal to divided by thirty we're gonna find out what is the remainder she makes the twenty three here and so I know that thirteen times eleven is also twenty three and 11 times 17, 11 times 17 divided by 30, and that will give me 27 over 30. Convert into mixed fraction, it's 7, it's the remainder. So I write 
this is 7 now, 7. And then 11 times 19, so let's find out 11 times 19, divide by 30, equal to, and shift, convert to mixed fraction, you get 29, so we get 29 here, and so this number is 29 as well. And then 11 to 23 uh, divided by 30 and convert and there is 13 is remainder. So then I have 13 here. And the last number is 11 to 29. So divide by 30 and convert into a mixed fraction. Get 19. So I have finished the third row and now I move on to the fourth row. And the 13 times 13, you get 169. And then divide by 30, you find out what is the remainder. Okay, is equal to 19. Now 13 times 17. They are about 30, and I'll give me 221 over 30, and it's 7 times 11 over 30, so remainder is 11. So I can put this as 11 here, same as 17 times 13, and then 13 times 19, 13 times 19, multiply by, divide by 30, then convert into mixed fraction, get 7. And I know this is equal to 7 or so. And then 13 times 23. Divide by 30. And over 30, convert to mixed fraction is 29 over 30. And the last number, you find that the missing number so far is 17. You can check that this is 17 now. If make move on to the fourth row, so 17 times 17, they were under, in this case is 19. So get 19 here, and, and then the remainder is 23. So I know this entry are 23 here, and then 17 times 23, they were by 30. Give me 3 9 1 over 30 and then convert the mixed fraction is 1. So this number is 1 and you'll find that the missing number in this row is 13. So I know this number must 13. This column is 13. 19 times 19 divided by 30. Mixed fraction you get 1. And uh, 19 times 20. 3 divided by 30 then convert this to mix fraction 17 as a remainder so I know this is 17 and then so the missing number 11 so I know the last number will be 11 here so this will be 11 and then next is 23 times 23 divided by 30 then convert the mixed fraction in 19 so this number will be 19 and we know that the missing number is 7 because for this row so this will be 7 as well therefore the last number you find that the number you missing is 1 this is the missing number